These are some inmates at the Insawam medium security prisons. This facility, built for 800 people, now has about 3,500 residents. And this is how they sleep. Unknown to them, however, six inmates will sleep in their own beds tonight. The Prophet Samson Amwating has arrived to pay their fines and free them. 32 years old Jerry Hansen Eganian and Amadou from Mali are beneficiaries of Prophet Samson Amwating's benevolence. Jerry says he has been locked up for six months because he couldn't pay his court fine and accuses compensation. He tells us the story of how he lost his temper and broke his accuser's tooth. So man, be a nene tifi or be Jimmy Papa spray machine at the spray garden. So you could use it. So you see, we and I saw the sandy bread, my father and farm brain, and come a different fellow. Team Poppy, no, he had the idea, and also my sister Baguson Concordibra, or quite man, so I enjoy your own tino on for my Bukama Cocruma, my banting packing mutuana, Miss and Papa the Casa Coma, and if you am so on sign up and Casa Mede, main coddy machine in bra. Make a man is a giddy don't for machine, mammy, no coffer machine, be see me, say, Timmy be my mean pager machine, no, nine shay. Timmy has a missu machine, no, so some tear tripping one machine handle na ye pumping. It took us to the bomb and pump him, and I'm a pile of me so made him a bone and no quick case in my head. Man, see it too. Prophet Samson Martin believes the church must be a voice to the nations, affect society, and give hope. After a powerful fellowship with the inmates, he explained why he chose to free prisoners this year. They need God, they need attention, and they, they need people. You could feel the loneliness and how they were very excited to see us. It was, so it was a good time. What, what necessitated this move? Um, you know, last year we came to the Insawam Government Hospital to pay the bills of patients. So whilst you know, we're moving from the hospital in the same area, God spoke to me clearly that I should really um, next year come to the Insawan prisons to then this is my first time of coming here and the Lord laid on my heart not just to come and give them food and go but to free prisoners especially those with the, uh, those who have been fined um, with some fines and they cannot pay and because of that they are still in the prison and even I just met somebody said he has been fined about 54,000 and they gave him about 30 years imprisonment so Paying some of these fines will really help in you know, a long way. And most of what, what really touched my heart was when even the people we paid the fines for, they didn't even know. Not me in that to say, we be so crap, it may happen. Not me cast me in that spam me boy. And I pay just me how na me a day na. I'm afraid me say, me brand. Me cry me say you blue blue no. Me do an om say me in koi in chefi atari na. Past the biya bitu a me fine. I'm glad we sa grow no mudi. So it is really something that I will urge everyone to you know to also copy and also to do. We are we are supposed to help each other. He says aiding the release of prisoners has become part of his ministry and will be done at least five times a year. Whilst I was in, the Lord spoke to me that I should do it about five times in a year. So it's going to be one of the areas I'm going to touch with all the other things we do. You know, we do a lot of uh, other projects like Operation Smiles and also, you know, paying bills and school. Like, we do a lot of charity, but this area is my first time and it's really something the Lord has put on my heart to do more. I want to do more and I know some of them are like Joseph. They will come out to become prime ministers one day. Bishop Victor Paul of the Rima Word Cathedral USA emphasized the fact that not everybody in prison is the problem. He encouraged the Christian community to focus a lot more attention on prison ministry. Sometimes what a person in prison needs is a prophetic word that will launch and shift their destiny. So I encourage pastors and leaders, apostles, bishops from all over the nation, let's get involved in bringing hope. Etta Jane Fimensa is a legal practitioner. She explains what the beneficiaries were convicted for. These are not just prisoners, they are prisoners who have been convicted for a fine. 
but because they cannot pay the fine in view of that they've been sentenced to some number of months or years imprisonment. So things like unlawful damage, you know, these little, little offences, some fines are as low as 460 Ghana cities, 960,200. So we paid for those fines so that they will not serve the sentence for them to be discharged today. Gospel musician Stella Seal and Councillor Luthrot were with Prophet Samson Amwating and team on this mission. It was like uh, the roof coming down. I, I had a different impression, you know. I, I took time to look around. The place is so clean and the people had so much smile. You could tell that they, they, they have hope. Anybody can come here. We thank Prophet Samson Amwating for this release and you hear the the boys whispering somebody is just there because of 4500 somebody is just there because of 3500 fine but they are there but thank god that professor Samson martin has worked to do this and he promised the boys inside there that it's a call of god upon his life to do this and he's promising that every year as part of his birthday celebration who are working here to do this the prophet also donated bags of rice, gallons of oil, and soft drinks to the inmates. We are here to present these items in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.